Hi, this is Karthik from Design School, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In this video, I want to show you how you can add tool tips such as this one to your WordPress website using Elementor and an add-on for Elementor called Jetrix. It's actually an add-on plugin. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So what are tool tips? Tool tips are these informative floating boxes around content that clearly describe what the content really is. So when you hover over this content, you can see its description. So that's what a tooltip is. And you can also build your own image hotspots with Jetrix. I'll show you all that right now coming up. Open any page post, custom post type or template by clicking on edit with Elementor. So when you're in Elementor interface, you can choose any widget. It can be built in Elementor widget such as the image widget, heading widget or it can be any third party widget. Just click on it and under advanced, you'll see an option called Jetrix. So when you click on it, you have the option to enable or disable tooltips. So I just currently have it enabled. I'll enable it again. And here you can type the text for your tooltip. So let's say this is the text that you want the tooltip to show when you hover over it. Don't worry, the preview won't be visible in this area. You need to click on this icon, eye icon to view the actual preview. We'll do that in a bit. And you can choose the placement of tooltip. So if you choose bottom, it'll appear below this image or any widget basically. Let's choose bottom. You can pick an animation for the tooltip. Offset is the horizontal distance from which tooltip will be positioned from the image. And distance is the vertical distance or the vertical length along which the tooltip will be displaced. I'll show this in a bit. Z index is used to stack it up on top of any other content that you might have on your, in, on your website. So let's click on update. Let's click on this eye icon. Now I can preview the widget here. Now when I hover over it, I can clearly see my tooltip and you can also customize the style of your tooltip. So you can simply click on style. You can increase the width of the tooltip. You can change its font size, font family. Let's pick Pacifico here. And let's change the text color to blue. Let's update. And when I click on update, the preview will automatically be updated. You don't have to click on anything else. Now you see the updated text and its color. So it's that easy customizing tooltip. You can also customize the background of the tooltip. Let's make the tooltip a bit wider. Let's also change the background. Maybe let's add a color. Maybe let's pick this, just any random color can also change the arrow color. Let's click on update. Again, the preview will be updated here. As you can see, it will automatically reload once you make changes in the actual interface and click on update. Just like that. Let's change the placement of the tooltip to left. Let's also change the animation to scale. I told you offset is the distance from which tooltip is positioned from the content that it's representing. So let's change the offset to maybe 100. And here's a pro tip. If you don't see the tooltip within your viewport, it means that either the offset or the distance is too high for the tooltip to appear in the viewport. So you may have to scale it down to show the tooltip. That's a quick tip. So if I have a value such as 1000, I may not actually see the tooltip in the viewport. If I have something like 10, I may. Let's actually make the distance 1000. I'll click on update and the demo gets updated. Now I currently see my tooltip. Once the demo is updated or the preview of the demo is updated, I still can see the tooltip. Now the animation is changed and stuff like that. So let's tone it down to 10 and let's view the preview. Nice. You can change the arrow color and all that stuff. So that's how you add tooltip. What about image hotspot? There is a widget that comes bundled with Jetrix plugin. So it's called Hotspot, simply Hotspot or Hotspots. So let's delete this widget. 
it's basically an image on top of which you can pick your tooltips so i just dragged in my hotspot widget let's choose an image so let's pick this one now we chose the image and here's a drawback of this we cannot exactly change the size of the image from here unlike elementor stock widget but there's a hack for that i'll show that in a bit so let's go to hotspot hotspots are the areas that show tooltips when you hover over them so let's add some text to it so text will basically be appended to the icon itself so you can actually see that from here so text append gets appended here description is the tooltip itself so let's say persons you may not actually see the preview here you may have to but i still see the preview sometimes it is visible so there's no problem you can also give a link to your hotspot you can add as many hotspots as you want let's change the second hotspot to something else let's also change the position of the second hotspot so you can add as many hotspots as you want and they'll just show up when user hovers over them let's update this and view how it looks like on our actual demo so when you hover over this you can see what that particular thing is and even this so you can put these hotspots on specific areas of image that you want to highlight maybe if you're selling multiple products within a scene that's a handy way since you can also add a link to it your products and all that stuff you can change the animation from pulse to whatever you want under tooltip you have settings to show it on initialization placement again you can customize the placement of the tooltip arrow type arrow size duration height duration and basically pretty much all the settings that you want you can also style the hotspot so you can change the icon size just like that icons get bigger on hover you can change the icon so you can reduce the icon size on hover and you can add margin and stuff like that and you can also style the tooltip the way you did with the tooltip in other widgets so that's how you add image hotspots but like i told you you cannot adjust the width of the image at least they didn't provide a setting here but if you have the element of pro version i believe custom positioning needs pro version you can go to advanced area of the widget hotspot widget specifically under custom positioning you can pick width and you can click on custom so from here you can adjust the width of your image and your hotspots remain intact so that's a quick way of changing the position of the image and how about positioning or aligning image they even didn't provide a setting for that so what you can do is that you can use custom positioning so you click on position click on absolute and change the position to where you want so you can 10% or 20% offset so whatever you want and position the image the way you want it so instead of having a stretched out or full width image you can have the image of the resolution that you want and your hotspots still work great so this is all great and you've chosen your image and the hotspots and how about adding these widgets in non elementor interfaces or places where elementor cannot be active such as gutenberg so there is a quick tip for that all you need to do is to click on the hotspots widget go to save as global so you are basically saving this widget as a global widget so that it can be used and modified from anywhere within your website wherever it's accessible so i'll just call it hotspot1 i'll save it now it will be available as a template and since each template of elementor is associated with a short code again you need elementor pro version for that you can go to templates and click on save templates under which you'll find your global widgets so here's my newly created global widget and its short code is automatically generated i can take this short code and i can paste it into gutenberg interface so i just pasted the short code generated for the global widget that we just created from the hotspot widget i'll click on publish i'll basically publish this post demo post let's click on view post let's preview the page so there you have it your image hotspot widget is also accessible within your gutenberg interface and it works exactly the same so all we did was right click on the widget and click on save as global so that will save it as a global widget which you can edit from any page that it's there you can go to save templates and it is also accessible within this tab so when click on the global widget it will show you all the global widgets created so 
This also applies to the tooltips created with Elementor. So you can take the shortcode generated of the global widget, paste it in non-Elementor areas such as Gutenberg or maybe any other page builders if you wish to. So that's a quick way to add hotspots and tooltips to any content in your WordPress website. Hope you guys liked it. That's it for now. I'll talk to you in the next video. Again, this is made possible by the Jetrix add-on plugin for Elementor. Make sure to check it out. Everything will be in the description. Make sure to read that too. I'll talk to you real soon. Peace.